Good morning, everyone. I'm Yuki. I'm from Japan. I'm a UW Eau Claire student. And today, I'm going to talk about a Japanese traditional paper craft origami. If you have a paper in your hand, what would you do? You can scribble, you can draw a flower, you can tear into pieces, but you know what? Uh, you can make an object with the paper, like this. This is an object made by origami. Today I will talk about what is what origami is, where it came from, what one famous origami object is, and how a paper crane related to Japanese history is. And at, at the end of my speech, I ask three of you to tell me something you learned today. And what are you going to tell me at the end? Something I learned. <laughs> <laughs> now I talk about what origami is. Origami is a Japanese traditional paper craft. Ori means folding. Gami means paper. So it's folding papers and making objects. And when I was a child, I loved to do origami and I used to have a lot of how to fold books. And next, I'll talk about uh, where, where it came from. I said, uh, I said origami is Japanese paper craft, but it began in China in, in fourth century, and it came to Japan and spread in sixth century. And it was originally used for wrapping gifts like this, such as dried meat, dried fish. And it gradually became a children's famous paper craft. There's one famous origami object. This is paper cranes. It's really famous, and all Japanese know how to fold them. And there are two reasons. One is um, uh, cranes are considered sacred, and cranes are a symbol of peace. No, I'll, I'll Cranes are a symbol of long life. And there's another reason. Do you know this story? There's a famous story about a real little girl, paper cranes, and the atomic bomb dropped onto Hiroshima. Uh, I'll talk about the story briefly. When it was back in 1945, when the US Air Force dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Sadako was one year old. When Sadako became 11, she, uh, joined, uh, she joined the school field team, school track team. Then she loved to, she loved to run and that's her dream to become a member of the team. When she practiced learning, she felt dizzy and she had to she felt dizzy and she fell down. So she was sent to a um, hospital and a doctor found that she is she was leukemia. Leukemia is a serious disease in which too many white, cell, white blood cells are produced, causing weakness and death. Uh, how disease, how disease leukemia was caused by exposure to the atomic bomb, and because of the di disease, she had to stay in the hospital. And one day, her friend. Shizuko visited her with a gold paper crane and 
said to her, Sadako, do you remember this? Do you remember an old story about paper crane? If someone who's ill makes 1,000 paper cranes, the God will grant the person wish to be uh, well again. This is your first one. Shizuko gave the paper crane to her. So Sadako started making 1,000 paper cranes. 11 paper cranes, I want to be well again. 12 crane paper cranes, I want to be well again. But after she made 655 paper cranes, she died. Her friends and classmates, her, uh, her, uh, her friends and classmates worked on to get work together and made the rest 345 paper cranes so that she would be buried with 1,000 paper cranes. Three years after her death, her friends and the young people throughout the countries helped collect, helped collect money to make a monument to her and the children who were killed by the atomic bomb. The girl is Sadako. She's holding a paper crane up above her head. In Japan, uh, all elementary school students study the atomic bomb and the war between the US and Japan. And Especially in my home hometown, Hiroshima, students study the tragedy and make a bunch of uh, paper cranes to bring and devote them to Sadako. And uh, so today you learn about one Japanese culture and a piece of history between the US and Japan. Now you know what origami is, what it came from, what a famous origami object is, why it's related to Japan. Uh, as Chizuko made a paper crane for Sadako, Even though her wish didn't come true, but still it's uh, making a paper crane for someone or uh, for peace would be great. So I, uh, so if you have a paper, I, if you have a paper in your hand, fold it and make a paper crane. Thank you for listening.